Hey everybody and welcome back to Bad Luck Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to make a boost leak tester for less than $20. Okay guys, so this is all we're going to need for this. You're going to need a 2 inch PVC pipe plug. You can get this at Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere like that. Um, this is $3. The important thing to remember about this is even though it's 2 inch, that's 2 inch inside diameter. So when you go to buy your coupler, what you're actually going to need is a 2 and a quarter inch coupler. We're also going to need a valve stem. That's going to be the screw in type. You're going to need a coupler that fits your application. My turbo has a four inch inlet, so we're going to be using a coupler that goes from two and a quarter inch to four inch. Now, if you're having trouble finding a two and a quarter inch to four inch coupler, you can use a two and a half inch to four inch coupler, but you're going to increase the risk that it's going to slip off this when you apply pressure. And of course, you're going to need the appropriate clamps. And I'm going to start with a 7 16 drill bit. I'm not sure if that's going to be large enough, but if it's not, we'll make adjustments later in the video. Now, all the parts that were bought online, I will have links to in the description to this video. Um, that should be this guy, which is about $2 on eBay. This is anywhere from $5 to uh, you know, $15. It depends on what size you buy. Uh, this particular one, when I bought it, was on sale. I think I got it for $10.99. The clamps I already had, but you can get these at the hardware store. This came from the hardware store. So I'll have links to those two items in the description. Everything else you can get at Lowe's. Without further ado, it really doesn't get much more simple than this. We're just gonna drill a hole in the middle of the cap with our 7 16 drill bit. Unscrew our valve stem here. That's got two washers on it really only worried about the one that goes on the inside so we just stick it through here put this guy down screw it together now we're going to use a 14 millimeter wrench tighten this up You just want to make sure that the gasket's compressed on the back side here because that's what seals the air. Then we take our coupler, go ahead and put your hose clamp on there, and push it in. Like I said, guys, the two and a quarter is a really nice snug fit for this two inch pop cap here. You can get away with a two and a half inch coupler, but if you use a two and a half inch coupler, you better tighten the crap out of your clamp because if you don't, it could fly apart on you once you start applying pressure. All right, guys, once you get your pop cap worked in below this level here, you can see it's pretty much flush in there. You can go ahead and tighten your clamp down. There is our boost leak tester. Take our other clamp, stick it on here. We'll go stick it on the turbo on the truck and see what happens. Now using this thing is pretty much self-explanatory. You just put it on the front of your turbo inlet here, tighten your clamp up, and apply pressure. I'm just gonna apply pressure and listen for leaks and things like that. Um, I'm not really going to get in depth in this video, but what you really want to do is go around with a bottle of soapy water, just a, a mix of dish, dishwashing liquid and water, and you can spray your couplers or anywhere you, you hear hissing, you hear air leaking out, you can just spray those areas and, you know, see if air is leaking out of those areas. Something else is if you have a drive-by cable throttle body, you know, you, you're going to open that manually to check for leaks around the intake, around the, the fuel injectors, things like that. If you have a drive-by wire throttle body like I do, what you're going to end up having to do is having someone go in there, turn the key forward, and hold the pedal down so it holds the throttle open so you're pressurizing the intake as well. All 
All right, guys. I am actually not hearing any leaks at all, so I think I'm good. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. That's how you make a boost leak tester for under $20. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more.